Hello everyone, I am Tanya Demnar. Today I am going to discuss about the topic Does AP society have different work for men and women? So first of all we have to know what is gender. Gender refers to the socially constructed roles and status of women and men, girls and boys. It is a set of culturally specific characteristics defining the social behavior of women and men, boys and girls and the relationship between them. People are born female or male or transgender but are forced to learn to be girls and boys who grow into women and men. They are taught appropriate behavior and attitudes according to different gender roles and activities. This learned behavior is what makes up gender identity. So, gender refers to the learned roles, norms and acceptations on the basis of one's sex. Then, we have to know about the concept of gender roles. A gender role, also known as sex role, is a social role encompassing a range of behaviors and attitudes that are generally considered acceptable, appropriate or desirable for people based on their actual or perceived sex. Gender roles in society means how we are expected to act, speak, dress, groom and conduct ourselves based upon our assigned sex. For example, uh, suppose general girls and women are generally accepted to dress in typically feminine ways and be polite, accommodating and nurturing. And their example such as Women are to cook, men are to be fed. Uh, women are told that they need to be nurturing and caring. Men are encouraged to work, women are encouraged to be homemakers. These are the examples of gender roles. Then, next concept is Does every society have different work for men and women? So, yes, many societies have historically assigned distinct roles and responsibilities to men and women based on gender norms and cultural expectations. These roles often reflect and reinforce societal beliefs about gender roles, capabilities and expectations. So the next part about the discussion part. Uh, there are few examples of uh, gender roles. Uh, gender roles uh, suppose first one is traditional gender roles. In many traditional societies, men are often expected to engage in activities such as hunting, farming or other physical demanding tasks that require strength and endurance. Uh, historically, women have been expected to take care of domestic tasks such as cooking, cleaning and child care, while men have been expected to handle outdoor chores like yard work and home repair. Women have been traditionally seen as the primary caregivers for children responsible for their upbringing, nurturing and emotional support. Uh, certain professions have been associated more with one gender than the other. For example, uh, nurture, nursing and teaching have been traditionally female dominated while engineering construction have been male dominated. Next we come to the uh, contemporary gender rules. In modern societies, there has been a gradual shift away from strict gender roles with more women participating in the workforce and men taking on caregiving responsibilities. However, certain professions are still more associated with one gender than the other due to persisting stereotypes and biases. Suppose in many households, both partners share household courts and childcare responsibilities more equally, regardless of gender. This includes cooking, cleaning, and taking care of children. There is a growing trend of individuals choosing careers based on their interests and abilities rather than adhering strictly to gender norms. Next, we come to matriarchal societies. Some societies have been characterized by matriarchal structure where women hold primary position of power and influence. In the society, gender roles may be reversed or exhibit more flexibility. Many fathers are now taking on more uh, roles in parenting, including being stay at home. Next, we come to egalitarian societies. In some contemporary societies, there is a move towards 
greater gender equality with efforts to break down traditional gender norms. This society aims to ensure that men and women have equal opportunities in education, employment and various aspects of public and private life. This is shift towards encouraging both men and women to express full range of emotions and seek support when needed. Men are increasingly encouraged to express vulnerability and seek help for mental issues. Next, households in all societies differentiate various household activities and responsibilities by gender. For women, Production and reproduction are two interlinked activities and much of the work women do, although productive is un unpaid. Men have always played a minor role in domestic work, society is tending to assume that they have paid work outside the home. So now we come to the conclusion part. In conclusion, gender roles have undergone significant transformations over time from traditional expectations that prescribe specific behaviors and roles based on gender to contemporary shifts towards greater equality, flexibility, and inclusivity. It is important to recognize that gender roles are dynamic and subject to change. As societies evolve and attitudes shift, there is a growing recognition of the importance of breaking down gender roles to promote equality and inclusivity. Uh, while traditional gender roles often confide individuals to narrowly defined roles and illimited opportunities, contemporary gender roles allow for greater freedom of expression, choice, and opportunity regardless of gender. It is important to recognize that these changes are, are ongoing and that there is still work to be done to challenge stereotypes, promote diversity, and create a more equitable society where individuals are free to pursue their aspirations regardless of gender. By acknowledging and understanding the evolution of gender roles, we can strive towards building more inclusive and respectful world for everyone. Thank you, everyone. Now I am finishing my presentation.